Cosmology was sort of the the uh, canary in the in the mine shaft because it was easiest to separate that from technology uh, technological uh, development. You know, it was sort of self feeding. Once the Big Bang notion became dominant. Part of the Big Bang is that the only really important force in the universe is gravitation. Gravitation is a force that is scale dependent. On the scale of you and me, you and I are in the same room, we are gravitating to each other. But the electromagnetic forces, right, you know, this ball is being attracted to the Earth by the entire mass of the Earth. And yet, you know, with a single finger, I can overcome this this, uh, attraction of the whole Earth, even though my finger is really tiny, because I'm using electromagnetic forces. Electromagnetic forces are actually what's driving my muscles. Uh, So, on this scale, gravity, while it's, not negligible, we can never forget gravity if we want to live a long life, it's much smaller force than electromagnetic forces. As we go to larger and larger scales, electromagnetic forces remain basically constant in magnitude while gravity grows bigger and bigger. So on the cosmic scales, yes, gravity becomes pretty much co-equal in importance with electromagnetism. Tired of inflation, wars, and inequality caused by the energy crisis? LPP Fusion is developing a solution that could allow everyone to have cheap, clean, off-grid, and sustainable fusion energy. Invest now as we seek to bring this potentially life-changing technology to market. For more information, visit lppfusion.com. So it becomes more plausible, their idea of, let's ignore electromagnetic forces. But it's wrong. And by ignoring electromagnetic forces, they say, well, this is about gravity, especially about general relativity. These forces are much less important on the scale of uh, technology. We, you know, so that break between cosmology and technology started, uh, between uh, technology and science started with cosmology back in the 70s. And we started to have this, what Alfain termed, mathematical myth. Mathematical myth is not a new form of myth. The geocentric universe, the Ptolemaic universe, had a lot of complicated math in it. I mean, I challenge any of people watching this to figure out an epicycle. Well, Ptolemy figured out these epicycles and everybody who did it figured them out. But it wasn't science. It was a mathematical myth saying that we take on authority that the Earth is the center of the universe. We take on authority that the circles are perfect. So things in the sky are perfect. And then we fit that mathematical model to observations we've already made. So that's where it started. But as the decades passed, the disconnect became more and more until we see, you know, outrageously in 2025, you know, the core of medical science is being thrown away, and we have decisions at the government level being based on mythology. No, we don't have to study how to prepare for the next pandemic, which may be around the corner. We have Robert Kennedy as a source of authority saying, take uh, ivermectin or take cod liver oil. So we, we, we're going back to a purely mythological basis 
and destroying by totally defunding uh, medical science, which was sort of the last science to to uh, start to be separated from technology. Thank <laughs> you.